Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to connect Model Sim Altera with your Cordis Prime program. As you can see here, I'm using Cordis Prime Lite Edition. So let's get started. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to Tools and scroll almost all the way down to Options. Once you're in there, you'll go to General Tab, EDA, Tool Options. Now here's where you get to select from what simulation tool you'll be using. Um, we're using Model Sim Altera, so you want to search for the executables for Mod Model Sim. Um, I happen to find them in, the first thing you want to do is go to um, where you downloaded Cordis. Mine defaulted to my C drive, and it was named as Intel FPGA Lite. Once you're in there, you want to look for the Model Sim folder. And... I found my executables in Win32. See if you scroll, if I scroll down here, you can see all the executable files. You can see the model sim executable file. Now, from there, I just right clicked on and click properties and copied and paste the location of this whole folder into here. Once you do that, you want to click OK. Second step is you want to go to Assignment, Settings. Um, you want to select Model Sim Altera or the tool name that you just found the location for. I'm using VHDL. You want to make sure this Run Gate checkbox is unchecked. And then also make sure this Native Link, link Settings is None. Then you click Apply, OK. And in this example, I'm just using a simple adder that does not account for overflow. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you simply how to account for this. But for now, I'm just going to simulate this and show you why it's wrong. So here, once, we're, once you have your code, your project, you're going to go to Tools, Run Simulation Tool, RTL Simulation. And this should open up your simulation tool that we just connected. And you can see here it opened model sim for me. So you want to go into that, expand this work <coughs> tab, and right click on your project uh, project name. From there you want to click create wave. Now this will create a wave chart with your inputs, outputs, you can see it has my inputs A and B and my output. Um, it generates an output anyways, so you can delete your outputs initially. I like to do that. And then from here you can set, if you right click, you can set your, um, your constants or patterns, the bit patterns. So you right click edit, wave editor, create modify. So for this example I'm just going to show you how this doesn't account for overflow and, and that it is wrong in the simulation. So I'm going to use constants of 7 for my 3-bit inputs for both of them. So I'm going to initialize this to 111. And now, once you have all your inputs set, you can right-click back on your project name and click Simulate. So once you have that simulated, you'll see it generated an output in this Objects tab. And I'm going to bring, click and drag and bring this into my Wave chart. And then once I have that in there, I'm going to create a new line in this transcript and type run. And you can see that it ran the simulation, except this is incorrect. Because we're adding 7 plus 7, we should not be getting 6 as our answer. We should be getting 14. And 
In the next video, I'll show you how to add uh, a couple things to this line right here. And you'll have to add another bit to account for overflow. But for now, that's how you connect your simulation tool to chords.